Hello and welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. I am your host, Conan O'Brien. Although you can call me just Conan. You know, I'm getting very self-conscious about the intros because I've been listening. I never listened to a lot of other podcasts and now I'm listening to other podcasts and they're a little more formal when they open the show and I'm realized that I'm not. And I think that's why I just started so formally which is not my way. Usually I don't think about it at all. And that's a better way to go. I've noticed in the first line you do, you go formal right out of the gate and then immediately lose it the next line you speak. I was going to say, I agree. I, I think you start off very like, hello, this is Conan O'Brien needs a friend. I'm Conan <laughs> O'Brien. It's like you have a voice that you do and then you quickly snap out of it. Yes, yes. Because I... I get this idea in my head. I, when I hear other people do podcasts, they start with this kind of authority. And I don't, I feel like I shouldn't, I don't have that. I don't know. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, you I, go from like 70s radio DJ to basement podcaster. And- <laughs> well, because I, I forget that I'm, what it is we're doing. Yeah. At the beginning, Matt, when you say, okay, Conan, get us started. You can go now, three, two, one. It's very natural. That's that's not a natural place to start from. Yeah. So I go, hello and welcome to Conan O'Brien. And I'm like, welcome to PBS NewsHour. I will be talking (laughs) about the ancient Incas. Did they really have their own calendar? You know, and that's- But we're not, that's not us. No, I know it's not us, but when we start and I'm on my own for about, I would say it only lasts for about eight seconds, but that's what I do. Then- I realize I'm just with you knuckleheads and what are we doing? And I, re- I, f- I remember my own absurdity as a human being. And then we're, the next thing you know, we're just talking like this and I'm saying cockaroo and, and whatever, <laughs> and whatever else. But I realized just now, I don't know why, but this is the first time I realized that I do get into my head when I do an introduction sometimes. Yeah, you do it so formally that it makes me feel like, wow, wait, are we more important than I know? And no, then, trust yeah, me, we're not. No, no. no, no. It goes away. I just, you know. I laugh every time. Every Hello. time you have a serious voice, it makes me laugh. Yeah, do you Hello. notice that Sona and I share a look on the Zoom every time, <laughs> look checking in with each other going, he's doing it again. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Hello. But so it should just be more like, hey there, going on O'Brien, that kind of thing. Is well, that that's, that's a little too dismissive. I should just be you. Well, see, no, it, it's, it's, this is, uh, man, this, uh, you can't get in your you can't get in your head, you know. You just can't get in your head. And now what I've heard is that's too formal and that's too informal. Okay, now I'm in my head even further than I was when we started, you know? Yeah. So nothing I do. Let's try a couple of really right now, a couple of okay. just give me a cup, just point to me, say go or action, and I'll give you let's do like three or four in a row and see if we can find it. Sounds good. Three, two, one, go. It's Conan O'Brien needs a friend. I'm no that's <laughs> Another one, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Have we got a show for you? <laughs> show. Quickly again. Come on. Three, two, one, go. Hi, it's Conan. You know me. I'm the same guy you've been chilling with since 1993. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. I haven't changed. Uh, still the guy you didn't like then and you grew slowly to like last year. How about that? That's not bad, but I think you should just open with a cockaroo. A cockaroo! Just... Welcome to Conan O'Brien. There you go. Welcome we to Conan O'Brien. Yeah, or maybe, I mean, that's the other thing, too, is we're not, we should have a morning zoo energy where you and Sona are making a lot of noise and you have, <laughs> wooku, wooku, and I'm like, all right, you guys, knuckleheads, quiet down. We got a lot of traffic on the 101 freeway, and today we're talking to a sex therapist. I'm looking through the glass right now. She's brought nine dildos. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. We're getting a call right now. It's it's Bees Man. Bees Man's out. He's bothering women on Ventura Boulevard. What's up, Bees Man? <laughs> I just bothered some ladies. Yeah, Bees Man. Go, man. Go. <laughs> All right, let's get the sex therapist in here. That's the kind of show we need to be doing. Oh, 